This is the simulation of a what I call a slot machine with Visual Basic code. Let me first show you what it really does. If I do Control Shift R, then it's going to run 20 times. One, two, three, cumulative. What is the score at the end? And that is game one, game two, and then it does that 20 times, and it gives you the average score. Let me show you what it does. Control Shift R. It says, do you want a new run? Yes, OK. And I keep clicking OK. And it goes to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I can stop at any time by clicking the Cancel button. And then it gives me an overview, an average of minus 0.9 in 15 games, 1 through 15, in 20, with 20 runs. First of all, I named ranges. Formulas, name range, and these are the ranges I named. So I gave them an, a name to make my code a little simpler and more understandable. You have to do that part first. Then we are going to do Visual Basic. Alt F11. And if you don't know how to start this, you go to Insert Module. I'm escaping that. And I created a subroutine that I called Run, which is basically a macro. And there we go. We declare two variables, both of the integer type. Then I clear the contents of the cells 2,1 through 21,18. And I do a do loop, do, and I loop until the message box function with two options, OK, cancel, becomes VB cancel. I set I run, that starts as 0 in the beginning, to 1. Then I do another do loop, do, loop until I game equals 20. I do 20 games as a maximum. I set the first I game to 1. Then with the range that I called runs, with the name manager, puts in from that range in this cell the, the game number we are in. Then puts in the next one a random number times 5, take the integer of it, that means round it down, minus 2. Do the same in the next cell and the one to the right. Then in cumulative sums, we take the first cell and then the second cell and then the third cell depending on I game. I put an R1, C1 formula in there, equals double quotes and close to double quotes, the sum function. In the same row, four columns to the left, through the same row, two columns to the left. That's the sum function. Then when that second loop is done, we put in the range run the game number. We set i game back to zero. Then we put in range game the i run number. Then in the range games. I put which game it is with the number of the run. Then in the game scores, I take the range from the cumulative sums. In the average score, I put the formula the average of the game scores. If the run equals 20, then we exit the do loop. We loop until we discussed that already, and then finally we give a message box that tells us what the average is. It takes that from the range average score, formatted to a number with only one decimal, in I run games of 20 runs. And that's what it's going to do. So each time I press Control shift r it starts a new run, it cleans out everything, and each time I do OK, 
it, there's a second run. This time I'm going to run it to the end. And it gave me an overview. 